the construction of vertex operator algebra associated to U1 Lie algebra and uh, uh, some generic uh, uh, simply, uh, simply connected for manifold, possibly with boundary, and we consider it uh, what is kind of how, this, how those guys behave under gluing, and also what uh, what role they play. So I also discuss the relation between the ubiquitin environments and what uh, uh, what I called uh, equivalent uh, uh, multi-monopole invariants of four manifolds and what uh, kind of role this vertex spirit algebra played in this relation. So they were denoted by this. Okay. So today I want to first I want to consider uh, a bunch of uh, other examples uh, of these of, of the uh, of the vertex operator algebras associated to uh, some subclasses of manifolds, and uh, so I consider some examples quite briefly, and uh, uh, one one particular class of examples I will consider in more detail. So first, uh, consider the case when the group is, uh, the Lie algebra is UN. And uh, so this is an uh, example essentially uh, due to Nakajima. And uh, So four manifolds will be a resolution of a, a AD singularity. So let me label, so this is, there is a, so let me denote it gamma divided by gamma H, where gamma H is a, is a finite subgroup of SU2, which, uh, so there is no MACK correspondence uh, between finite subgroup of SU2s and simply laced uh, laced Lie algebras. So for a simple case, the algebra which are classified by AD, we can take a certain finite subgroup of SU2 and consider this quotient and then it has a resolution. And uh, then in this case, so the vertex operator algebra associated to the four manifold is uh, Is, uh, so I will elaborate on this, is uh, affine, the, so the VOA associated to affine Lie algebra H uh, where at level N, so this is a good level. So since uh, because of some questions dur during do stock, uh, seems that like, not everybody is familiar with this notion. So let me remind you. So first, so here in many cases there are kind of uh, when for vertex operator algebra there are a lot of abuse of notation. So sometimes people write the same notation for vertex operator algebra and for a finely algebra, uh, which corresponds to uh, corresponds. To but, uh, so what exactly this means is that uh, so one can consider the following Lie algebra uh, which is called affine. Uh, so as a vector space it is, uh, so we start with the usual Lie algebra H and uh, so we tensor it with this series in uh, Tn inverse, so 
we can see the loop algebra and we can see the central extension. So let me denote central element by kappa. And uh, then if, uh, uh, so again, I will use the similar notation. So the construction is, is, is very, it, it's going to be, everything is going to be very similar to the Heisenberg algebra and the corresponding VOAs. Uh, so again, if uh, H is some element of my ordinary L algebra H, then the, uh, by H with index I, I will denote H tensor to its Ti. And then there is the, the Lie bracket is uh, given by the following relation. Uh, J. Uh, sorry, uh, it's probably, uh, sorry, it was, uh, okay. So let me, so there are different elements. A, B, so for any pair A, B from H, so this is a killing, here I use a killing form, standard killing form. And uh, so my, here I want to start with some, uh, semi, uh, let's say, reductive, reductively algebra. And uh, then there will be a term, another term, which is uh, just a commutator of B, A, B. And for here, I take the index I plus J. And here I multiply on the center one. Central element cup. So this gives you some infinite dimensional the algebra. And uh, so the VOA is a corresponding VOA as a vector space. Uh, is uh, the highest weight model. Defined uh, uh, with the highest weight vector satisfying the following conditions. So the K, the central element, acts on uh, the highest weight vector, which I denote by zero, uh, as N. So this is uh, my level. And uh, the I's just all act as zero for i greater or equals than zero. So again, this, this defines some highest weight model with highest weight vector zero, denoted by this uh, zero with brackets. And uh, so we can see, so this is a representation induced by these relations. And then we can equip it with the structure of uh, the vertex operator algebra uh, in a way completely analogous as we did for Heisenberg, Heisenberg theory. So not I'm going to go into detail. So this is similar to Heisenberg. So Heisenberg VA, we had the same thing just without this. Uh, the Heisenberg VA was essentially the, the case when this is a, a billion, a billion real. Okay. And in the, in the work by Nakajima, it was explicitly shown that this is uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the uh, homo homology of the instanton model spaces. Here, they have this, uh, they have a structure of, the, of a model of this uh, affine algebra. Okay. And one can, one can argue, uh, like from this, the, 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 the same, uh, the same result one can predict uh, from the is, is agreement is is in agreement with the kind of physics uh, prediction from the complexification of 6D theory, 6D SCFT on this four manifold. So one can uh, consider what we call example one prime. So it's kind of a uh, small, kind of a certain generalization 
of this. Uh, so this is considered in a paper by uh, uh, Bukov, uh, Gade, and myself. So uh, consider uh, so M four uh, will be is a is a certain it will be a, is a bordism. Uh, from uh, S3, the, the three manifold which is obtained S3 by the quotient by the gamma uh, related to some group H uh, to S3 quotient by gamma uh, associated to some AD Lie algebra F. Uh, such that if I take this uh, bordism and uh, glue it with uh, the manifold which appeared uh, before along the common boundary, I should get uh, the manifold from the same class, but labeled by F. So you can consider some sort of uh, this picture like this. So here, this is your the Bordism M4. And so it's here, is this manifold was some topologically some resolution of uh, a certain resolution of uh, singularity of, AD, of some AD type. And once we glue it in, we get uh, another manifold of the same class. And uh, then the statement, so this condition uniquely determines this M4 up to the deformorphism. And uh, so the statement is that uh, this thing, so one can argue that this thing uh, should be uh, what, is, what is called coset. VOA. So in physics, it's usually denoted by some sort of quotient. So it's a, uh, I start with VOA uh, associated to a fine Lie algebra corresponding to the ordinary Lie algebra F and with level N, and I quotient it with H. So this is coset called. So this notation, and uh, it's uh, it's really it's it's it was introduced in physics, but it's uh, it's in a sense it's a wrong to write it like this because this is not a you don't uh, you don't consider this is a, as a, as a you don't quotient this vector space by this vector space. So this is a, what this actually means is a, a commutant of uh, H n in F N D O A. So you can see that all operators in this vertex operator algebra that commute with this. And, uh, yes. Well, the usual last space when this is of A type. Uh -huh. uh, but in general, this is some what is called spherical uh, three manifold. So, now one of the nice examples when this is uh, H, the Lie algebra is E8, then this is a Poincare homology sphere. Any other questions? Another uh, example which was considered in, uh, so let me mention briefly the following example, it was considered in Gukov Pagan paper. 
And uh, so I'm not sure if Sergei is here. If you can correct me, if I say thank you wrong, something wrong. But uh, anyway, <laughs> okay. So the uh, the idea is that uh, so consider M4 is a non-compact toric surface. So it has it can be uh, described by the following toric form. It looks something like this. So the fact that it's non-compact means uh, they all kind of fly behind a certain line. And uh, but you can consider kind of uh, topologically it's better to understand it by some sort of dual toric diagram. So which is usually you write it like this, some sort of open polytope with some vertices, and here you have a uh, torus, uh, sorry, the T, T2 vibration. So in generic point, you have uh, t, it's torus fiber, two torus fiber, and this, uh, but the, it degenerates, so one of the cycles degenerate once you approach the uh, edge, and uh, both cycles degenerate, of the torus degenerate when you approach a vertex. And uh, uh, no, not necessarily. But we don't want uh, this poly the one thing we don't want we don't want this polytop to close. Well, at least uh, in this. Uh, uh, I mean, one can try to close this, but it's be, it's going to be more complicated. I mean, so let let's consider this. It's, it's, this case is in the sense easier. And uh, so the uh, the tor the torus there is a torus action on this, which is I mean the same, which is uh, sorry denoted by. And uh, so the idea is that locally uh, around this, around each ver vertex, it looks like C2. And then one can associate something like to C2 and glue, glue these things together. So first, uh, and uh, so we want to construct what actually, so we want to construct uh, uh, the VUA, which also we will label it by SUN. And uh, so this will be what one can call uh, T coherent. So, so in particular, it will depend, it will depend on uh, equivalent parameters. Epsilon one, epsilon two, in the notation, the usual notation. So they are they are essentially the same parameters as appear. The similar parameters appear in the Nikrasov story, Nikrasov Pachi function story. So the generators of equivalent uh, homology of the point. So the, uh, uh, what what it, what it means here? So the the, the, the what we depending. So if you fix these parameters to be some particular complex numbers, this determines a certain VUA. And uh, so then one can consider the VUA of C2. And this is a, uh, so let me, uh, so in general, okay, let me see first say, say something in general. So this is what, what is called in general WN the VOA associated to WN algebra. Okay, let me, uh, in order not to go in details, what are the W algebras? So let me consider the case SU2. And this is uh, what is called Virasor VOA. 
phase. This is, in a sense, a minimal VOA, which just, uh, which contains, which a minimal VO, vertex operator algebra, which uh, satisfy axioms. So as a vector space, this is essentially uh, generated by, it can be written like this. Uh, Where, where is this? Uh, so again, the construction is analogous of how we did, how we did, so we constructed. So we started as, a, as we did in the, in the Heisenberg algebra or uh, a finely algebra, we started with some infinite dimensional Lie algebra and we constructed the, the uh, VOA structure on its some highest weight model. And uh, so this, so of course, so here when we talk about uh, vertex operator algebra, the Virasor algebra acting on the space of, uh, on the vector space of vertex operator algebra, it has a particular center of charge. And this particular center of charge will indeed depend on those guys. So it will be one plus six this thing. Then you want to define what do you do uh, when you glue stuff. So let me consider just, uh, well, the, the general situation as long as it should let me consider you know, the case with, uh, when the diagram has just two, two corners. So the statement that this uh, thing will be uh, So let me explicitly uh, denote this dependence on the epsilon one and epsilon two, which comes through the central charge. And uh, so this will be first. Uh, Well, it's uh, just uh, acts by rotating. Uh, so you you one you you rotate y one you one c and another you one another c copies. So this is a there is c one one you one and another you one. And each so each epsilon one and epsilon two corresponds to one axis. Yes, yes, it's uh, but uh, of course of course we have to choose. Uh, uh, in order to do this, to define this action, we have to choose. We have to choose a, a kind of a basis. We have to choose what we call. We have to choose this uh, splitting. No. Okay. But of course, so here we have to uh, we have to choose. I mean, when we consider so this the torus here uh, is uh, so so suppose we fix a certain basis or uh, a certain particular splitting of the torus into a product of u ones. So this uh, u, this u one corresponds to. Uh, Will correspond to epsilon one, and the, and the second one will uh, the corresponding equivalent parameter will be denoted by e two. But then we we want uh, so if, if once we identify this part with uh, uh, c two and another corner is c two, uh, the the, cannot, the the standard choices of epsilon one, epsilon two here and here they will be related by some uh, SL two z transformation. Uh, so suppose here is a choice. I choose just a choice. My choice of is uh, is a canonical here, but here I, I have some other parameters: epsilon one prime, epsilon two prime, and uh, 
So there will be something else, but before I write, uh, what is, before I say what is this, uh, so they are related by some, uh, so this is the, the corresponding vectors, they are related by some SL to Z transformation. And uh, so we have, so if you start, so this tensor product of vertex operator algebra, it gives some, some new vertex operator algebra. But in this special case, when we have a two copies of Virasoro uh, vertex operator algebra, such that these epsilons are related by this, by some uh, uh, SL to Z transformation, this has, we can, uh, this has some modules which can be ad added up to this vertex experience. So they have what is called non-trivial extension plus uh, certain models. So in general, we cannot add, add, up, add modules uh, like arbitrary model, we cannot up uh, uh, to the to the to the uh, to the kind of to the to the to the, to the vacuum model, which is uh, uh, the, the the vertex spirit algebra itself. Uh, so has a non-trivial extension uh, when exactly. They are, they are related of the, from, of this, uh, they, 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 they are related between each other uh, with this kind of uh, formula. Uh, well, you can consider a certain, uh, well, this, this in general, we can take, take complex, so you can have zero here in principle. And there are some, well, one can, say, one can say more explicitly what you add up here, what models, but what is important that this non-trivial extension exists exactly why, due to this uh, relation between epsilon, between the query parameter for this C2 and this C2 uh, due, to, uh, due to gluing. Okay. So I don't want to go into detail for this example, but. So what I want to consider in a bit more detail is the following, is the following uh, class of examples. Is that M4 is a product of uh, CP1 times uh, Riemann surface with punctures. So this is genus G Riemann surface is N Punctures. So in principle, if you, uh, so you can write, uh, you can draw it uh, like this, but if you want uh, to actually uh, analyze, if you want to, to analyze uh, instant, uh, kind of, you, if you want to realize your vertex period algebra as a, as a vector space, on the level of vector space as a, as a cohomology of, uh, uh, of the uh, moduli spaces of wap eaton equations, uh, then you actually need to be more precise. You need to uh, kind of, uh, you, you need to inter interpret these punctures as uh, some sort of infinite tubes like this. Okay. And, uh, So okay. So what is it? Uh... So let me say some first some some sort of general properties. Is that uh, so? The VOA. The sink, so it will uh, it will contain uh, n copies where 
and the number of puncture and copies of uh, affine Lie algebra associated to my Lie algebra G, which I choose here, with some levels, which I'm not going to specify, but they can be explicitly written, times uh, U1. So in general, uh, there is no such thing. It's like for, for general, if I take a closed four manifold uh, of, ge of generic holonomy, of generic holonomy, there is no uh, statement. There, sh there should be always some affinely, affinely, affinely algebra acting on this VOA. But uh, in, first of all, in the particular case when the four manifold is scalar, then you uh, should have then there is a U1 which you can also interpret some sort of U1 action acting on the uh, model space of Waffle-Witten equation, equations. And uh, you also have, since you have a boundaries here and, 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 uh, with, and components, for each boundary you have a action of the, you have an action of your gauge group which can be understood as a kind of constant uh, gauge transformations at infinity, and uh, they will be so. This uh, the ordinary, the, this ordinary. The claim is that the ordinary uh, symmetries of these uh, modular spaces they will promote promoted to affine symmetries in this vertex operator algebra. Okay. And. Uh, So what is it, uh, how can one make the explicit description? Well, the, it will depend. Well, here I'm, I'm just saying that there, there is this uh, sub VOA here. This is not, a, this is not equality. This is a, a sub VOA, which uh, depends. So the, the, when, whenever there are n punctures, there, is, there will be this uh, affine symmetry included here. Okay, so uh, and uh, so in particular, if I calculate as a trace over this VOA, and uh, so I insert minus one to the F. Q to the L0, so F was my Z2 grading, L0 was my Z grading. And uh, so I can also insert the, uh, insert a certain element. Let me, let me denote it, uh, I'm not sure what is a good notation. Uh, alpha element of uh, an ordinary uh, So n copies, n copies of uh, of group of uh, group G such that Li of G is uh, small G, and here I take G to be uh, compact and simply connected uh, times U1, which is a certain U1 group uh, corresponding to the ordinary. So this is a Li group which corresponds to an ordinary Li algebra. Uh, embedded in this affine algebra. And so th then this can be understood as an element. So this will be series uh, in Q with coefficients being uh, elements of the representation ring of this uh, group G. So in general, so if, if, there, if there was no if this was trivial, then I just call a trace of minus one, minus one to the F, uh, Q to the LD, or I just get a uh, series with coefficients being integers. But here I have a series of this type. So of course you can write it more explicitly by choosing a particular, what, you, what is in physics called fugacities, and then the, this will uh, depend, this, then the coefficients will be some rational functions of those uh, fugacities corresponding to maximal tori of those guys. Okay, so this is uh, some general expectation. And this is, uh, and this should be a modular, 
modular and uh, in a sense the form is a model is kind of generalized Jacobi model form which will so if I realize these guys if I go to the kind of maximal tor conjugate this element to the maximal torus the corresponding uh, coordinates on the maximal torus they play a role of Jacobi like variables in this uh, model form so there's some general expectation and uh, now one can make a one can ex to explicitly describe this VOA there are two two ways so this can be understood as a conjectures on the, on this on the structure uh, on this VOA structure on the cohomologies of the model spaces of solutions of what written equations so the first uh, uh, description can be given as follows so suppose for simplicity uh, so I, I write the statement in the in the case when uh, uh, there, there this would be a genus zero surface uh, then the statement that this is uh, the same as a uh, global sections of a shift of chiral differential operators so I will elaborate on what is this shift of chiral differentials of chiral differential operators associated to a, a space x 0 n which is a Higgs branch of uh, the corresponding uh, class S zero. So this uh, kind of statement is a bit naive because uh, in principle this shift of Kyle differential operators is only defined for a smooth uh, manifold but uh, kind of naive uh, expectation if you, you know, gener try to generalize this you should expect this thing so in more general if I take uh, so here I wrote for genus zero if I take non-trivial genus uh, then uh, there will be additional uh, data here which I should include there will be a, a data of holomorphic vector bundle of this x and there is a generalization of this story of Carl differential operators uh, uh, for, the, for the case when there also a, a holomorphic vector bundle over x so what is it, what this actually is, is is I elaborate in a few minutes and another way to kind of uh, to, to, to construct this thing is that uh, construct by gluing a basic pieces basic blocks which is so any Riemann surface can be split into a pair of pants so it should be enough to say what this is for pi of points times CP1 and uh, to say how you how you should glue uh, the sinks so in a sense you want to consider the UI of this and uh, a rule on the race for gluing Okay, so let me briefly review what is the what is uh, what what is the shift of uh, chiral differential operators. So let X be uh, smooth. So here I'm actually assuming smooth, which is not exactly true for this Higgs branch, but uh, let me anyway. Uh, or do, do give you a general definition just for, for a smooth case smooth uh, complex analytic manifold 
And, uh, so we want to define uh, this uh, uh, the shift of Kyle differential pairs is a is a shift on x valued in a vertex operator algebra. So for each open uh, subset here, one needs to give you to, to tell you what is the corresponding vertex operator algebra. So, value it in the vertex. Disk is a bit uh, bad, bad thing to ah, do. Okay. You need to. Well, kind of, you, you kind of define for cylinder in a sense, yes, for cylinder. And then sort of do some kind of. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's the idea of the second approach, which I, which I also want to review if I have time. So, and, but if it's the second approach, you, there is not, you should do, if you do this, you should do not real checks that different, uh, you can decompose it in a pair of points in a different ways, so the result is, should be the same. It doesn't depend on the well, computer. Everything you, sh you, you do for the two-dimensional topological field theory is Yes, yes. But here you're kind of using this approach uh, of uh, curl differential operators. You kind of define it globally. You know, so, I mean, suppose you know what is a Higgs branch. Okay, so uh, so I don't have much time, but uh, so first the idea. Uh, so I don't give. I'm not going to go into like deep theory, but the idea is that suppose first x take x to be just uh, a fine space C n, and uh, consider just a global uh, sections. What are the global sections of the shift on n? And the statement. This is what is called n copies. So this is VOA, which is called N copies of uh, beta gamma system. So what is this? So this is a very similar, again, to Heisenberg VOA. Again. So what is this? A single copy of. Uh, so so what what is this uh, VOA? Exactly. Is uh, so as a vector space. It, uh, so, so I start, as in the Heisenberg theory, I start with the Lie algebra given by the following relations. So there will be generators beta and gamma labeled by ij's going from 1 to n. And uh, as in Heisenberg theory, the, this will be, the low indices will be just valid in z, and they will satisfy This relation times C, which is central. And again, we can construct VOA as a, some fork space obtained by these guys, but to be more precise, so we consider all possible. So we start with some highest weight vector and we can act on it by all possible uh, moles beta and gamma with a certain condition. JL, where here I allow, so n i's should be uh, strictly positive, but m i's uh, should be just non negative. So you have gamma zeros, but you don't have beta zeros. And this is a, so what's important, this is, this can be, this is a, and uh, again, everything, the structure of the array is just uh, 
analogous, completely analogous to the Heisenberg theory. How you how you construct an operator, uh, the series in operators uh, from this guy. Are there relations between the beta themselves? And the no, no, the betas themselves, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, the betas themselves, they are uh, commute, and gammas, they are commute. This is the only non trivial. And so one can notice that this is a module over a polynomial ring in uh, gamma zeros. Because I can always multiply any element of this guy, of this ring, I can multiply here. It's just uh, I earn some gamma zeros here. And they all commute gamma zeros, they all commute with all this. Then, for example, if I now still work in, in CN, but if I if I want to define what what happens if I remove, uh, so we can see this a certain uh, the risky open subset where which is given by this. So it's a complement of a set of solutions of a certain equation. So suppose suppose C. Uh, and I understand, I understand as a spec of C with, core, with uh, variables x1 and xn. So this will be coordinates on the space. Then f is a certain element, uh, is, a, is a certain polynomial here. And uh, I want to impose a condition that, that f of zero is not zero. And then uh, this thing will be. A, uh, so let me denote this in order to not to carry all this heavy notation. So this is, will be some sort of standard thing. Let me denote it by just Vn. So this is a Vye labeled by n. So this will be Vn uh, tensored with. Uh, uh, the ring of uh, polynomials in X, where I localize with respect to one over F, and here I tensor uh, with uh, itself. So, sorry, what I mean here? Okay, here I need to repl replace this by gammas, gamma zero. What I, here, what this means, uh, what it means, so here, uh, my, my uh, so, so this space, as a vector space, can be understood as a space of polynomials in all these uh, uh, betas and gammas with different indices. And here, what I, what I, what, uh, this was just a polynomial. And here, what I, if I want to go to the subset, I allow to divide uh, by one over f. And uh, so when, what I do formally is I, what I actually do is I can expand this one over f in uh, in one over f of gamma zero in uh, in variables gamma zero, and I can do this. I can always do this expansion at zero because of this condition, and this will produce me a series a series uh, uh, in gamma zeros. So now I will allow a certain type of series in, ga in gamma zeros, not just polynomials. Okay. So this uh, so this procedure allows you to define this on the risky open subsets of uh, CN. And now, so here I'm kind of skipping details, do do a huge jump. But uh, essentially, what you want to do is uh, so you want to say some uh, some more general space X. You can cover it with some patches where well, each patch is. Uh, uh, locally isomorphic to CN, and uh, there will be some transition functions uh, which I can, uh, uh, so this will be CN minus something, CN minus something, and uh, then I, so for each of these patches, 
I have some VOA defined by this uh, construction, and then I should define a certain transition functions, and this transition function should be uh, morphisms between uh, VOAs, so the transition functions. VOAs associated to uh, different open subsets. And the, this, uh, uh, these morphisms are defined as follows. So the morphisms between VOAs so suppose here I have some coordinates x, and coordinates here I will denote by x tilde. And, uh, so if I, again, as usual, I denote by this thing as uh, gamma and the n and by beta, so this will have index i, 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 beta, minus n minus one i, and uh, so for example, if uh, if my coordinates are related like this, so x i is uh, given by some functions g i of x and uh, then uh, uh, this means that gamma tilde so the, the so this is a generating function this is a series in z with, where the coefficients will be operators acting in the VOA here in, associated to this subset is just related to uh, gammas in another patch you, by the use of this function. And uh, for beta, so if you have, the, if you denote by inverse functions by f's, then beta tilde i of z is given by D F by D X tilde, where you replace it, uh, evaluate it at gamma tilde, and you multiply it by beta i. So you 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 want us to do the sum J J. Anyway, you can write you can write explicit relation between how you map operators here, how you map the operators between the these VOAs, and uh, so you need you need actually some some condition on the topology of X uh, in order for this to be uh, in order for this for this shift to be globally defined, and this condition is uh, something is uh, C one equals zero mod Two and that uh, the second part of the of T X and uh, the Cherkart in degree two is zero. Okay. Questions. How much time do I have? We start a bit uh, later. Okay. So now you want uh, to plug in this uh, construction the Higgs branch. Class SCA, and you want to 
uh, so obtain some shift, and you consider the global sections of the shear. This produces some vector superior algebra. And uh, so let me mention briefly uh, uh, approach uh, with gluing. So I don't have, uh, so let me, uh, so to talk about the, uh, the gluing of vertex operator algebra itself, you, so you can do this, but it is a bit involved. So let me just uh, mention this on the level of, uh, on the level of character, what happens on the level of characters. Uh, so let me first consider the case SU2. Well, maybe I can mention Okay, let's see. So I have about, uh, well, let me, okay, let me just say, say some words, but don't write explicit formulas. Uh, uh, so the idea is that, uh, so the general idea is that, uh, for general G, so if I, if I want to calculate so suppose I start, I start with some, I want to start with some Riemann surface and I want to split it into two pieces, so they, they are connected to the piece A and piece B, and they're connected by some tube, which I want to cut. And uh, so the statement will be, that this is, uh, will be a certain cohomology, which is known as BRST, cohomology, or more, uh, so in this particular ca case, it's uh, what is called quantum Drainfield Sokolov reduction with respect to, uh, this will be reduction with respect to diagonal affine the algebra associated to uh, uh, the punctures, the puncture, this puncture of this, in this piece and this puncture in this piece. So namely, this will be a certain cohomology of the following tensor product. So I take a vertex operator algebra associated to this uh, piece A. So now I, once I cut, I have here a puncture. Tensor, the vertex operator algebra G associated uh, to this piece. And tensor, so I need to take a tensor of uh, two copies of what is called BC system, valued in a, a joint representation of G. So the B system is a, is a odd, uh, odd parity. Odd means it has a, the generator has parity one odd analog of uh, beta gamma system, which I described before. And uh, so anyway, there is some procedure. Uh, so, but let me tell you something about uh, the, uh, the basic building, so the basic building block, for example, uh, for SU2, uh, so this is uh, the Riemann surface times CP1. So this will be just uh, uh, eight copies. So this will be the combination of the beta gamma system valued in C8, so there are eight copies. And you see here there is this, uh, as promised, there indeed SU2 times SU2 uh, times SU2 and uh, times U1 action. And uh, for example, the corresponding character here is very simple. Uh, all this thing is just one of our uh, product 
theta function where I take a product of all signs so theta function of x is uh, this infinite product So V is a, is a fugacity associated to U1 symmetry and X, Y, Z are a fugacity associated to this SU2s. And uh, and for, for example, for SU3, understand this uh, as a so one way to understand this is a this uh, shift of uh, the global sections of the shift of uh, Carroll differential operators on X where X is uh, E6 instant on center it E6 instant on moderate space And the corresponding character, for example, this can be explicit. And uh, so here, so uh, naively, on this VOA, there is a, sorry, uh, there are three punctures. There is SU3 cube symmetry acts. But uh, you can actually, this SU, SU3 cube symmetry is actually has a natural embedding in E6. And it happens that this affine symmetry, SU3 affine symmetry, enhances to E6. And uh, for example, okay, so this is a, I should make a reference. So this is a, for example, in the, in the work uh, by myself, uh, Song and Jan. So we calculated, so, so this is uh, some non-Lagrangian theory, but uh, you can still calculate it. Uh, like the, 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 the physically, this the Cartesian two-dimensional theory doesn't have any Lagrange, but you still can calculate its elliptic genus, which is a character of this VOA. And uh, so you can calculate, which can be interpreted as a, a generating function for uh, L characteristics of uh, waffle witten moduli spaces. Here and uh, so, in particular, you can explicitly see uh, that this is indeed uh, indeed an element. So there is explicit formula which I'm not going to write here, and you can indeed check that this is a, indeed a, can be interpreted as a series in Q, it has a form of series in Q where the coefficients are elements of the representation ring of A6 times E1. And uh, so, for example, on the level of characters, there is explicit integral formula how you do this, uh, uh, explicit integral formula how you do this gluing. Okay, I should stop here.